So once we're inside, this is what it looks like. I'm literally standing like right against the door. The door is right here. So as soon as you walk in, I'm on the mat. This is what it looks like. This is covered up for a reason. It's because it's top secret. Um, so I've just popped it on the chair and put a covering over it. And then this is what the salon looks like. So this is the area that obviously I work from here. And then down here is like a washing machine and a sink area. I do use the sink area, but I haven't tidied it for the video. So you can't see that. <laughs> So first of all, over to the left, we've got swatch sticks on my coat hooks. Um, they are all of them. So the ones that are oval shaped at the front. Why is my phone not focusing? Help me out here, please. <laughs> there we go. So anyway, the ones that are at the front are... I'm looking through my phone instead of actually what I'm doing and it's really confusing. So these ones are Magpie gel polishes. Um, they are on the oval um type of tips and then the ones behind those are on the square swatch sticks because they are the blue sky colors and then the ones at the very back are on stiletto swatches because they are acrylics so it just helps clients like if they're just gel polish clients i tell them don't look at the stiletto ones and stuff like that and then they're all the same they're all in different like color orders so they're all to the left of the client because the client's chair is here. So it's just right next to them. And then their colour changer ones. All I have on my desk is my Magpie lamp, my tertial lamp from Ikea, and then my phone holder over here for me doing videos. So I'll quickly just do behind me. Um, I sit obviously on the other side of the desk. And then I've got my Magpie ones up here and down to here and across here. And then over here, we've got some more bits and bobs. So I'll take you over there first. My phone's too far away from me, so you probably can't hear me. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Let's just put my flash on. Might give us a bit more brightness. So we've got on the left side of the wall is magpie glitters at the top. And then down here, we've got a fallen soldier. <laughs> Let's just sort him out while I'm here. So over here, we've got Tia's Beauty Flake. So absolutely beautiful. And then we've got more magpie glitters. Lots and lots to choose from. Then down here we've got Tia's Beauty holographic um, shards and yeah, some shapes, um, some leaves, some foil, well, foil leaf kind of thing. And then over here we've got, on the right side, we've got more magpie glitters. So they're all along the top. And then these really, really cute little tea... Um, what are they called watering cans with little flowers in obviously they're fake um they're from the range they're so cute i love them and over here we've got the holographic dust collection which is just beautiful i talk about it quite a lot but look at that with a flash on it's absolutely incredible so that's all those along there then we've got tears glitters and they go all the way along here absolutely stunning i love them and then down here we've got magpies um perfect poly poly gel and then we've got magpie foils so that's that done that's my wall and then moving over here because i always start with my desk and i feel like we should do that last because it's like sort of like a save the best till last moment so this is my storage that's obviously i sit over here and then this is all here so I've just recently filmed a video of sorting these out actually. I'm not sure whether this will be up first or after. Just ignore the labels. I need to take those off and redo them when I've 100% settled on where I want everything. So this is my drinks jaw, jaw? <laughs> drinks drawer for my clients. Um, coffees are in here and then we've got hot chocolates, Americanos and then fruit teas at the back. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because like I said I have got a full video on these. So these are for my removal kits so when i wait make those up there's everything in there to put in them these hopefully eventually i will have on the tops of my magpie gel polishes when i actually get around to it and then in here i just have all my foils this is a playing card folder it's absolutely perfect for foil um storage holds like over 500 i think and then in here i have i've just realized just notice i've still got my uh, flash on and it's kind of blinding isn't it i'm really sorry about that um i'm also really sorry if that was actually better i might leave that on i think i'm going to leave it on you know so yeah if it's too bright for you then just turn down your brightness on your phone obviously so we've got all my wax melts here um i've got my chrome 
um what are they called applicators from magpie i've got my label maker in here and then just some quick stationery there some pens and pencils then in here we've got swatches got the extender system which i've mentioned plenty of times but i don't use it because i just didn't get on with it at all and in here is everything related to press-ons the actual nails themselves are at the back they are all piled up high <laughs> at the back because i don't really do them that often anyway then in here we've got blue sky gel polishes and then uh, ink london hard gels they are all eye gels in the back there and then in the next one it's also blue sky polishes along with the model ones ones i bought before christmas and then some smiley's glitter store and blue sky products back there and then last but not least for this one we've got all my random bits and bobs like lots and lots of spare pots um i use these when i decant glitters that i've bought that come in bags because i don't keep them in their bags so I just pop them in a pot and then they all match up. And then we've got uh, the little baggies that I put the foils in before I put them in that holder. And then just random bits and bobs basically. It's totally random drawer. This one is my rubbish drawer. Um, it's just got random stuff in. So two spare lamps and a spare e-file. This did hold my coffee pods before but I'm not using it anymore. I'll just put it there before I get a chance to put it in the bin. In here are all my beautiful Tears Beauty acrylics. They're absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to get some more. All of these, that side are all pre glitters and then all this side are all coloured acrylic. They're beautiful. I'll just pop some candles here, just a space saving while I'm waiting to be able to buy more. And then in here, I can't actually show you what's in there, but because it's got all of my clients' names in there. So these two are filled with Navy Pro Tools um, file storage system. On here, I have just random bits and bobs. I've got a little mini fridge. Oh gosh, a little mini fridge that holds a couple of drinks for my clients to choose from if they don't want a hot drink. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm trying to get it through quick so you're not sat for like 40 minutes watching me. Um, so anyway, we've got obviously little random plants that are also artificial. I've got my wax melt burner here um, that I use my wax fairy wax melts in. They're absolutely beautiful, but my lighter has run out and my next one is upstairs and I just, I'm so lazy. <laughs> I need to go and get it then i've got my um coffee maker here i use the tassimo um coffee maker absolutely love it and then underneath we've got sugar um some disposable cups and then some disposable like cups for cold drinks as well and then this is the boring one because this has literally just got cleaning products in so moving on to this trolley which i've also got an in-depth video on but i'll show you quickly what's in here so at the top i'm going to turn the torch off now because we're in the light side of the, of the room um so in the top i've obviously got all my essentials like my card machine my e-file uh, sanding bands e-file bits in here i don't really have these in here all the time but while i'm not working i'm doing lots of nail art and swatching and stuff i've got swatch sticks over here i've got uh soak off things in there and then cotton pads lint free wipes and then practice tips in there in here is all my essentials that I reach for often, like top coats, foil me, has to be on there, it's the most important thing I own. <laughs> and then we've got all of my core acrylics and stuff like that. I am phasing out Magpie um, acrylic, I'm just going to be using their gels and nail art. Um, so yeah, I've only got those left now, and then once they're gone, that'll be it, I will be 100% Tears Beauty for acrylic. And then over here we've got some tweezers, and then we've got some acetone and prep and dehydrate. So down here we've got backups of all my essential gels, some glitter brows gels that I just haven't basically got rid of so I'm just keeping them just in case I want to use them on my own nails or anything. In here we've got spare manicure brushes, some gloves and at the back my e-file is just chilling in there at the moment. Um, that's usually full of files but obviously at the moment I'm not working so I've just popped my e-file there. Then here I've just got a fake hand that is from Glitter Planet, but I actually don't recommend it. <laughs> um, mine broke really, really quick after buying it and they were just really unhelpful. So I can't really say much good about that situation, but everything else I've bought from Glitter Planet has been fab. So I can't say too much. Then in here is all the boring stuff like the liquids, like uh, lotions and potions and prep and dehydrate, acetone, removers. This is a large bottle of tears beauty monomer and we've got forms and acetones down here and stuff like that and then moving on to my desk which i'm going to sit at for this part because i'm so lazy and i don't want to stand up for all this time so number one drawer on my left has got um so tools are all in there these files are just thrown in there because the ones i've been using to file like practice hands and my nails um when i've been doing like videos and stuff like that 
uh, it's all just kind of set up for YouTube at the moment. Um, it's all slightly different when I have clients in. And then obviously Magpie gels start here. And then we've got Magpie's Crystals. I don't know why I can't hold anything today. So we've got Magpie's Crystals that won't focus. Uh, Magpie's Leaf. And then we've got their pigments and a couple of those. And then obviously lots of palettes. I got this one from Amazon recently, which is really cute. And then in the next drawdown, we've got the rest of Magpie gel colours. I do have the whole collection. And then in here is all magpies, so that's all like flakes, um, chromes and stuff like that. In here we've got dusts and dried flowers, the glitter applicator hold the applicator, what am I talking about? The glitter holder, inkies, shapes, and then gel paints. The silver one for some reason just hates me and just will not stop leaking, so I have to keep a lint pad under that. And then all of these are Sparkle Supplies UK glitters. I have done a collection video on these and I will have a sparkles haul coming soon as well which is super exciting and then down here i've just got random bits and bobs like my paper pads for filming and then extra lint free wipes mini buffers mini manicure brushes and some ipa and then over on this side we've got let's just sort out the lighting situation Let's get this over here so this notepad i just keep by the side of me because i've got this thing like when i'm planning nails for people and they say like i'll do whatever you want just this is my color scheme i'm really good at forgetting what i said i was going to do by the time i get to do it so i literally get this out i write down like pinky ring finger middle index thumb and then i write next to it what my plan is and then when it comes to actually doing their nails i've got it written down and i remember what i'm doing it's really sad that that is what it takes but there you go it's also nice to be able to look back as well at previous uh, designs. These are Brill Birds Glamour Gels. They are all absolutely beautiful. I think there's 15 altogether. They're absolutely stunning. So that's those. Then we've got permanent markers and a pen. We've got nail decals by design, water decals. And then I've got the Enchanted Nails um, book. Oh, hold on a second. To keep all of my Enchanted Decals decals in and also the magpie stickers and stickers i've got from anywhere else basically so just stuff like that so that's the top drawer in the right hand side and then down here i've got those gels that i showed you from aliexpress then here we've got a swatch drawer um and then basically this is my amazon drawer I don't know if you've noticed that all my drawers are basically like brand coordinated so this is the amazon drawer um just random stuff that i've bought from amazon over time basically and then this is my nail art brush drawer and then there's some masks there as well so these are all um just like random brushes i don't really use very much these are all like stripers and liners um and detail brushes these ones are acrylic and gel brushes and poly gel and then these ones are ones i reached the most for that don't really fit into any of those sort of categories then here i use these a lot with stamping and then some chrome applicators which is basically our shadow applicators and then next up we've got my um oh gosh zoomed in a bit much more than i wanted to do um this is my stamping drawer so we've got stamping polishes down here these polishes here are not actually stamping polishes they're blue sky weekly but they work really really well for stamping so i've kept those and then all these are full of stamping plates this is my christmas folder and then all of those are just normal stamping plates for my clients to flick through all my stampers and scrapers and then obviously clear jelly stamper and moira oh polishes and then i'm going to get up stop being lazy for this bottom one and down here we've got all of my tips so these are all the sna quick tips that i've got you might notice like throughout my drawers that there's a little less in some of the drawers and stuff like that but there is a reason for that and you will find out what that reason is very soon but we've got magpie full on tips so i've got the almond and the tapered square they have bought longer ones out now which is really cool and then here these are the ones i use the most like these stiletto tips uh, glitter planet and sparkle supplies uk and we've got magpies tips which i also don't use but keep for no reason and then these ones are basically the same as the magpie tips but they're from glitter planet and then these ones are basically the same as these ones but they're from aliexpress <laughs> and then down in here in this little pot up here i've got all my like spares and stuff for different sizes these are the ones i use the most um like I mentioned, like the long stiletto. I don't really do any long stiletto nails, but these are perfect for cutting down to any shape, basically, obviously, apart from square. Um, and then we've got some just cheap 
like those horrible ones I used to wear when I was about like 10. And then the coffin ones that I used with the nails that I've got on my left hand at the moment. Um, the video is already up. So if you want to see, let me just show you them. Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> if you want to see this set, without everything on them if you want to see this set then head over to that video i will try and remember to add a little suggestion at the top for this set if you want to see them um but yeah so that is that draw done as well so i'm just going to nip back over here and then you can just have one last look i don't think i've forgotten anything i usually do in these videos which is really really frustrating but i don't think i did this time um that if you're wondering what's in this cupboard up here it's nothing now related it's literally just my dad's like stuff uh so yeah that's it i have my there is a sunbed here if you're wondering what this is um and my qr code for covid um but yeah that sunbed isn't actually mine it's well sort of i use it but it's my mum's um and it's not like anything to do with my business or anything and then these two here are the aprons that i wear one is personalized and one is from navy this chair was from ebay there's boxes under there they are storage boxes from hobbycraft that store my spare drinks for the little machine the little fridge over there and then these gray chairs were also from ebay my uh desk which everyone is going to ask about because it always do um i have got a video on that as well but if you don't want to watch it the top is the linman top from ikea and it's 120 centimeters by 60 i think and then i've got two sets of alex drawers the smaller ones and then a tall set of alex drawers over there Although I think the Alex drawers are being discontinued and they're going to bring out a better version. So I hope that happens soon because I really want some. I want to get rid of these four big drawers and get some Alex drawers to match everything else. So anyway, I'm going to stop chewing your ear off <sighs> and breathe. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. I love doing these videos. I already have a few on my channel, but I change my room around that often. I feel like it's not really going to be like the same every time I every time I film the video because it literally changes all the time. Um, so I like to do updated ones every now and then. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back soon for my next video. Bye.